Hi, this is Zahn. I go by the moniker at Burningwood M on Twitter, Burningwood M on the internet in general for better or for worse. And basically, I'm just focused on game development, uh, specifically 2D game design. What I'll be going over in this first part is my of my developer blog, vlog, I guess I should suppose is the first ship in this game I'm making with John, who makes awesome Construct 2 tutorials. And basically the story behind this is he was making a Flash Trek game. I kind of wanted to make like a space game. And so now he's doing tutorials on how to program the game, and I'll be doing the art side. So these are kind of like art tutorials slash developer blog tutorials. As you can see, I like to draw everything out first in my design. And then I will basically move that image or work with that on top of the image in a free program called Inkscape. Again, Inkscape is 100% free open source, so I'll put it in the links below, also with a link to John's original tutorial. Ideally, the Flash Trek spiritual successor we're making will have a ship that has different upgrades. These upgrades will be visible upgrades, and so... I'll be making those assets and then importing them into a program called, uh, what's the program called? It's called Spriter Pro, where I'll be doing a lot of the uh, animations such as the thrust, particle effects, so forth and so on. Uh, damage later on, all sorts of awesome stuff. After that, I'll be taking them and I will be importing the Spriter Pro files into Construct 2, and that's when the magic will happen. So, uh, kind of some notes about our first ship. This is the IU. IU is like our federation, if you would. And the IU uh, basically created the certainty. It's a salvage class. It basically harnesses resources and is like a, tr a tow truck ship for other spaceships. That's the idea. Uh, what I'm doing at this point is I'm just cleaning up the uh, image, you know, making sure that the image is solid, moving different uh, silhouettes to the background, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all those images and I'm going to group them together. Uh, after I group those images together, I will be able to then make a ping image, and what I'm going to do with that ping image is I'm going to test the base design to make sure that the color scheme of the base design actually looks good uh, in, in the game uh, by running it through the game engine Construct 2. So that's what I'm doing. Some other notes. What to say? I had uh, this is like my third or fourth take. I don't know. Uh, I've been doing game design for the last two uh, to three years. I started with Construct 2. I was working on sprites. So I can actually take this program into other sprite programs and I can add texture and maybe damage effects. That's something I'll debate about later if I can't make the um, images look good enough by simple uh, vector based images. So, okay, at this point, again, I'm just uh, keeping to a, a color theme. As you can see, taking from uh, pixel art, I've limited my t uh, palette, and art in general, I've limited my palette to about maybe five or six colors, and then I'm going to now make a different folders to keep those images in, um, what it put, to put those different images, basically, so they're organized, so I can animate uh, a lot easier uh, later on. Hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to animate. Now what I've also done is I've made the starry background with blinking stars because that's just more dynamic. I hate static stars. And the other thing is uh, hopefully John can program a way to make those stars randomly generate so I don't have to copy and paste 100 bazillion stars. It's going to take a lot of time. <coughs> I'm also going to... So uh, what I'm also going to do later on is I'm going to add... Oh, I added actually different stars with, that are blinking kind of default, very pixelated. What I will do later is I'll probably add those uh, different stars um, better art later on. Oh, and as you can tell, I totally messed up. I've added different things to make the sprite playable in the game. I kind of messed it up. So what I did is I fixed it. I changed it just to give it, a, again, um, a demonstration. And this is just a, a moment of zen because the color scheme seems to be working. Again, I've got one type of color palette for the ship. Different ships will have different color palettes. And uh, the stars look beautiful. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to do the video tomorrow where I get to add the thrust effects and maybe sound effects because that's another thing that's really cool with the programs I use. You can actually put the animation and 
the sound effects and just link them together and it'll, it'll export right into to Construct 2 in real time. That's all for now. So, you know, I guess do the YouTube thing, like, subscribe. Oh, heck, the, the most important thing right now is comments so that and feedback so I know exactly what I should be making with my art where John is going with this because ultimately I want to make a fun game and John wants to make some killer construct two tutorials so cheers